Good. Uh, my name is Professor Buisa. I want to take you through some tips on research methodology. And the topic today will be the processes of some selected research types. But first of all, let's see, what is research? You look at the word research, and it's like it is composed of two, two syllables, the re and the such. The re is a prefix meaning again and new, repeatedly, over and over. But the such is a verb meaning to examine closely and carefully, to test, try, and to probe. And therefore the two letters together, they form the noun that describes a careful, systematic, patient study and investigation in some field of knowledge and undertaken to establish some facts or principles. So, research can still be looked at as the systematic investigation into existing or new knowledge. A research project may also be an expansion on past work in the field. Let us look at the letters of the word research. Let's open the map. R means recognize a problem. E means establish its scope. S means set up objectives. E means explore facts in the field. A, analyze information that you have gathered. R, recommend the solution. Then C, conclude your exercise. And H, because it's research, you continue researching, so hypothesize further research. Indeed, you can see that we are suggesting a process that starts with a question or a problem. So, here then is a simplified scientific research process. One, it starts with a research question, the problem. Two, you do literature review. Three, you do theory and hypothesis and for the empirical study. This is the typical research process going around the circles. Now, uh, here is now a simplified scientific research process involving those methods that we have seen above. You can see first, research question. Next, literature review, next theory and hypothesis, and for empirical study. This is, as I said, the normal, common, typical research, psycho research process. However, we have a number of types of research. Let's see the deductive research, which is usually, normally, quantitative. It involves testing, confirming. So quantitative research in general. You start with the research question, then you do the literature review, then you do theoretical or conceptual or build hypothesis, and then you go in the field to do empirical study and come back and go over again. That is quantitative. That is deductive research in general. There is also inductive research, which is qualitative research, exploratory, and it's wide and actually theory 
and hypothesis building. You can see detective differs from inductive in the sense that quantitative, which is detective, tests the theory. But inductive, which is qualitative, builds a theory. How do we go about it? It starts with research question also. It goes to literature review. But instead of going to theory, after literature review, you go to the field. Meaning, you don't need to start with the hypothesis. You go to the field, and when you are in the field, you have picked the data, you come back and now build the theory, build the hypothesis, and finish up. You can see that, therefore, in qualitative research, hypotheses are not a must. You are not testing hypotheses. They are not confirming. You are building them. Knowledge building. There is the theoretical research. Theoretical research also starts with the research question. But then it goes to literature review and goes to hypothesis. And because it's theoretical, there is no need to go in the field for empirical study. So you can see that theoretical research does not cover all the four stages. It can, we can avoid empirical going the field to, uh, to check, to study. Then there is the descriptive research. Descriptive research also starts with a research question and it does literature review. And then from literature review, you, it goes straight into the field because you're going just to describe something that is existing. You are not going to uh, hypothesize. So descriptive research ends up also, only three processes avoiding the uh, theory and hypothesis. So, this generally shows us those four types of research and they differ in terms of the flow of the process and the stages uh, which they undergo. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can contact me on that Twitter, Facebook, email. I also have a, a website. And please, to read more about research, my research tips, this, visit Elim TV at that website. You'll get many more of my elaborated tips on research methodology. Thank you very much.